enter into the topic, I want to say some words about aptitude. Nowadays, aptitude plays a very important role in all competitive examination. If we are familiar in solving aptitude type questions, means we can score more marks comparing to others. So I chose that uh, section aptitude. Today I chose the topic calendar. Why I am choosing the topic calendar means, in calendar problems are very practical one and using some easy tricks we can solve more problems. So I chose the topic calendar. We all are know that uh, uh, there are two types of year. First one is uh, ordinary year, second one is leap year. All ordinary years has 365 days and leap year has 366 days. Now I am asking why we are having 365 days in normal year and 366 days in leap year. The answer is very simple one. Actually number of days in the ordinary year is nothing but the time taken by year to around the sun. Actually time taken by year to around the sun is 365 days, 5 hours, 59 minutes and 16 seconds. Approximately 365 days and then 6 hours. To compensate this 6 hours, we are adding 1 for every 4 years. For that reason only, for every leap year has 366 days. Next obvious question is why we are adding that extra day in February? Why every February year has 29 days? The answer is, uh, before uh, some thousand years ago, February is the last month in the calendar. So they add that extra one day in February. As we are following the same sense, we are having 29 days in the February month for every leap year. Next question is why we named as leap year? Actually the word leapt, L-E-A-P-T means jumping or moving. So we are named that year as leap year. Now we move to the problem section. Before entering into that, how we can check a given year is leap year or not. For example, I am taking only year. I don't know whether that is leap year or not. How we have to check? First we consider that year. Check whether that year is century or not. Century means 100, 200, 300, 400, up to 1200, 1300, all are century years. If I am having a year, check whether that year is century or not. If it is not century, Divide that year by 4. If it is not century, divide that year by 4. If we have remained at 0, then the given year is leap year. Suppose I am having some other remainders 0, uh, sorry, 1, 2, 3, then that year is not leap year. So, first one is, first we have to check whether that given year is century or not. If it is not century, divide that by 4. We get remainder 0 means that given year is leap year, otherwise the year is not leap year. Then obvious question is, suppose it is not century, what we have to do that? Suppose it is not century, check whether that is 4th century or not. 4th century means 400, 200, 400, 800, 1000, 200, 1600, etc. If it is 4th century, then it, it is obviously leap year, otherwise it is not leap year. So, for example, now we consider 100, 200, 300, 500. These are centuries. We have to check whether it is 4th century or not. 100, 200, 300, 500 are not 4th century. So it is not leap year. Similarly, 2001, 2005, 1977 all are not century. When we divide that by 4, we can't get the remainder 0. So these are not leap years. So, we have concluded that if we are having a year, check whether it is century or not. If it is not century, divide by divide four, divide that by four. If we have remainder zero, that year is sleep year. Otherwise, it is not sleep year. If it is century, every fourth century is a leap year. Otherwise, all are not leap year. Okay. Uh, in the upcoming sessions. We will discuss the problems related to the calendar. Thank you.